The Hobie Mirage Lynx comes standard with an extra large standing pad and it also has coverage under the seat. If you're looking to expand on that factory installed standing pad that's underneath and in front of the seat, we offer an expansion deck pad kit that builds off of the center standing pad and gives you complete coverage over the entire deck of the boat. This is really nice when you're stowing or accessing gear that might be in the cargo area. It also provides a little bit of traction for you and other things that you might have stowed on the deck. Follow along as we complete this installation of the deck pad expansion kit for the Mirage Lynx. It's a really straightforward, simple installation. You just need a little bit of self-protection, gloves, and a respirator is nice because you're probably going to be cleaning with some acetone or rubbing alcohol um, and a standard carpet roller from your local hardware store will go a long way in helping you get this job done. One thing that makes the installation of this deck pad expansion kit really easy with the links is that this material comes from the factory nice and clean and, and really um, allows you to adhere the deck pads. I mean, you lay them down and they're sticking. While the material that the Lynx is constructed of takes to the adhesive backing really well, one tip for getting the surface extra clean, if you have a little bit of grime or you just wanna make sure that it's as clean as possible and will adhere to the, to the um, adhesive backing as, as good as possible, you can follow up that acetone wipe with a rubbing alcohol wipe and then give that a few minutes just to completely evaporate and dry before you start laying down your pads and sticking anything down. I've got all the pieces to the EVA deck pad expansion kit laid out and I actually removed the bungees in both the, the cargo deck on the bow and the cargo deck behind the seat just to make the installation a little bit easier. One of the tips that I have for laying down the pads as straight as possible and, and avoiding sticking the entire pad down at one time is to actually peel up and stick down you know five or six inches at a time of the pad so that you can um, kind of adjust the perimeter of the pad as you go but as long as you know where it fits I like to get it lined up and get just a little bit stuck down and then you actually want to work down the pad so you don't create any air bu bubbles and massage the pad down flat if you do need to peel this up in the future, you can add a little bit of heat to it, maybe leave the kayak out in the sun or hit it with a little bit of a, a heat from a heat gun. And I actually just peeled that entire backing pad off because this is one of the smaller pieces, but I just wanted to demonstrate the, I just wanted to demonstrate the way that um, the technique you can use to help you straighten things out when you stick it down. With this piece being a little bit bigger, I am gonna find it super helpful to use the technique where I'll stick down a corner or about a few inches of it to hold it in place, grab the backing, massage down as you're peeling the backing off and you should be able to get it to lay nice and straight. I'm going to use my basic carpet roller and I'm going to go over um, first the middles to push out any possible air bubbles and then I'm going to actually really pay attention to the perimeter of each pad and get good pressure all along the perimeter to make sure that the edges of these pads are really stuck down. This adhesive is really strong. I don't expect it to want to come up but I don't want to give it a reason to get started so I'm going to pay extra attention to the perimeter there. So first going down the middle, and you can actually kind of hear the bubbles crunching out if you've got any, and it sounds like I've got a couple little ones, but I'll just push those out. That's not gonna be a problem. And when I get to the edges, I'm just essentially tracing the edge with the pressure on the corner of the carpet roller. We've got the EVA all laid down. We've applied pressure to the adhesive to get it really securely attached to the kayak. I think it looks really awesome. It ties in perfectly with the main factory installed standing pad. Get a little bit of extra traction. 
This is a product that a lot of people are going to want to move around on a little bit. Um, you're going to rest a cooler or a bag, maybe a couple dry bags on here if you're going a longer distance or out for a longer day. This stuff really helps provide a lot of traction, cut down a little bit on the, on the noise of the of hole as it goes through slightly choppier conditions, and um, it just looks really sharp. So we're ready to get on the water with this product. This was about a 20 minute install, pretty quick and easy. So share pictures of what you've done to your links and we'll see you on the water. To see all the other installs we're highlighting on this Mirage Links, check out the Hobie Links Rigging Series playlist on our YouTube channel or go over to hobie.com and click on the Mirage Links page and you can see all the specs and everything about the links right there.